Okay, good evening. Welcome to Hellgate High School. We're thrilled to be here for our first concert of the year involving the wind ensemble and sharing it with the Washington Middle School 8th grade band. My name is Leon Slater. I'm the director of bands here at Hellgate. And uh, I gotta, gotta say that as a former Washington band parent, both of my kids went through Washington Middle School. Uh, that I know the, the experience that they're getting with Mr. Tipton is out of this world. It's, it's just such an awesome time uh, for those kids that, that are involved. Uh, but I have to also say that sitting on the bleachers with someone's knees in my back <laughs> versus this is just a little different, you know? Uh, we, we feel so fortunate to, to have this facility and um, I need to give one quick shout out, a uh, former band parent who runs all of the sound for Wil the Wilma and the Top Hat actually donated this sound system for the Hellgate Auditorium. Uh, and it is a huge, huge, huge So thank you to Mike Jones. Uh, as you see, you the Wilma mixing sound and stuff. Uh, that's the guy that donated and installed all this stuff for us. So, I'm going to try and keep my words few and the music frequent. Here we go. Ready, set? Let's do this. Thanks to Mr. Slater and Hellgate Bands for having us. This is always a treat for us to uh, get out of that gym and uh, get into an auditorium and share some music together. So we had a nice experience 
this morning, shared a rehearsal, worked on a really challenging and fun Montana piece of music this morning. Um, and these guys got to have a little taste of the high school experience and interact with some future classmates. And uh, what a treat that was. So we're looking forward to sharing that with you later this evening. That piece was Portrait of a Crown Clown by uh, one of the masters in the band world of composition, Frank to Kelly. And it was fun to come out of the marching season, sit down, dig in. This gives us a good goal. Um, and we always enjoy being here. So we're going to share another piece of music with you before we do our quick swap of the stage. And this is David Schaefer's Andromeda. Pretty heavy piece of music. It's really challenged us in a lot of different ways and given us a lot of uh, excitement and uh, goals and challenges, all sorts of fun stuff to work on. So we hope you enjoy it. David Schaefer's Andromeda.
Okay, are we ready? So uh, this group of young people in front of me here is the uh, is Jazz One here at Hellgate. We meet every day as a class during seventh period, and uh, they just got off of a trip to Livingston, Montana, where they had brought in the director of jazz studies. We're getting a little feedback up here. Director of Jazz Studies from the Eastman School of Music and the Director of Jazz Studies from Northwestern University, which is actually my alma mater in, uh, just outside of Chicago. Um, so these guys got to work with them and hear some other bands and do some clinics and all that kind of stuff. So on Monday, it's the first uh, chance that we have gotten to get back together. Um, we dove into our next new project and transcribed a piece of music by the Young Blood Brass Band. They're a group out of Madison, Wisconsin. They do New Orleans style uh, brass band music. We actually had them here at Hellgate about uh, four or five years ago, and we're working on getting them back here next fall in October. Um, but what you'll witness here has been all done by ear and discussion and committee and even our arrangement, we changed up just a little bit today, and uh, from memory. So here we go. Are you ready? VIP by the Unblood Rats.
So we also have a jazz two at Hellgate. It's a full big band, and uh, they meet during zero period, which is at 6.50 in the morning. Uh, so we, we meet at 6.50, start rehearsal at 6.55, and go until uh, 7.35 or 7.40, and they jump into their full day of classes. Uh, so super motivated kiddos, and as you can see, uh, to do that in rehearsals and a couple of other things, we did that in uh, the last three days and then just did our run through today. Um, so all from memory, you know, transcribing off the record. Very talented kids. Let's hear that one more time. <laughs>
top of three groups here at Pelican High School. This is a, a 48 member group, kind of the audition top of, uh, of our band program. It has uh, freshmen through seniors. And um, our second band is called Symphonic Band or Advanced Band. And it's 50 people. It normally hovers between 50 and 60 folks. And uh, that has freshmen through seniors as well. And then we have uh, our intermediate band, which is concert band. That's the normal kind of beginning uh, level for freshmen. But all freshmen are invited to audition and attempt to get into all the various levels so that we find a, a band that fits uh, their ability level where they're going to grow and feel comfortable. Um, I'm actually going to have uh, a couple of seniors just talk about their experience on transitioning from eighth grade into uh, Hellgate as a freshman. And uh, while they're coming forward to uh, chat at you, um, I will ask, please come forward. I will ask um, that uh, if you are inside of our school boundaries to, to come to Hellgate, you're in like Flynn, and we would love to have you. If you're outside of our attendance boundaries, um, they're going to have a process where you apply to come to Hellgate. And uh, we have a waiting list every year. Um, the um, selection process is normally the earliest you get your application in, the better off you are. And it always, it always helps um, if you're a musician. If you will uh, let Mr. Tipton know that you're out of boundary and that you're going to apply, and then I can uh, send an email and double check that everything is good for you getting in here at Helgi. Um, all right, so I introduce Will Nomchevsky, who obviously was the sousaphone player for uh, the brass band thing, and plays tuba back here in the back of the, the window. So. I also play jazz, uh, tombo jazz band. Um, based on that. So I'm just going to um, show, uh, tell you guys um, some of the stuff that Hellgate offers. Um, and if you're in this activity, please stand up. So the first one is band. So you know, band. Um, <laughs> and then BPA. If you're BPA, stand up. Um, cheerleading. Um, dance team. Anybody dancing? No. Um, flagship. Um, uh, key club. If you're Lance, math team, model UN, and um, National Honor Society, <laughs> orchestra. Yeah. Yep. MYS. Missouri, yeah, that's, uh, MIS is Missouri Youth Symphony, which is a group of um, orchestra people and some man people from Hellgate, Zeno, and Big Sky, and on school. Um, anybody from in robotics? Or robotics? Yeah. Um, save? Uh, speech and debate? Student government? <laughs> Thespians? Yearbook? Anybody use the yearbook? Sweet. Um, okay, now we're going to do sports, basketball. What? <laughs> um, cross country. Uh, football. <laughs> Ultimate frisbee. <laughs> Golf. <laughs> Anybody in the Hellgate Booster Club? Awesome. Okay. 
Um, I'm gonna introduce Miss Tana Maxwell. She's trumpet player. So obviously, you're able to stay involved in a lot of different activities, even while you're in one of the top bands in the state of Montana. So stay involved. curricular things so um, music is really important for everybody it's our, a form of communication that's not limited by language everyone can play music everyone is able to do that and so I just really want to encourage everyone to stay involved and if um, you're not like totally comfortable um, doing it then just like put yourself out there outside your comfort zone and um, Join extracurricular things because they offer um, opportunities that are like different um, from your current class. So like we have a brass band, there's Missoula Youth Symphony, like I said earlier. Um, there's pep band. Pep band is so much fun. Everyone do pep band. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Ali Hi. I'm a senior here. I guess obviously. Um, <laughs> player in my sophomore year, Slater so asked me, or at the end of my freshman year, Slater so asked me to pick up trombone for a jazz band, and I was like, you know, why not, that's cool, um, but I'm really glad I did, even though I'm still not the best, it's really fun, and jazz band is actually one of the best group of groups of people you can associate yourself with, and um, some of my best friends have actually come from meeting them in jazz band, and yeah. I'm Brooke Riley, and I'm also a senior, coincidentally. Um, and when I was going to high school, I was in the Sentinel District, so if you're in the Sentinel District, you can still go to Hellgate. And I, um, well, I did competitive cheerleading and high school cheerleading and band for about two years, and now I'm just in high school and band. But it is possible to do even competitive sports. I traveled all over the Northwest and was still able to be in the band, and all state, and all stars, and nationals. Yeah, you can do everything. Don't be limited by your choices. Thank you. All of these people are really great upstage, and I've known since my freshman year, and have been a really great support system, and also just always there for me. So, just a quick shout out, applause for them, guys. so much for me as a human being inside and outside has grown me as an individual and that is mostly to the direction of Leon Slater. He is <laughs> he comes to work every day whether he likes it or not. Sometimes he's sick, sometimes he's not, but he works with us. <laughs> he deals with us. Sometimes it's very frustrating for him. I can see him in his face. I'm like, hey Slater, we're gonna make it through this day. It's gonna be great. Um, but I would just say, no matter where you are at, as, like as a musician or just as an individual, that you should definitely stay involved in any type of music. That doesn't have to be band. That could be singing on your own. That could be anything. Like, it's just stay involved and stay in the arts because that's going to grow you as an individual and make you feel more open-minded and different thoughts. So that's all I have to say. Can we just give one more applause to the band and everybody on the stage? Sky are doing great things at their house as well. Um, so, 
please stay involved. We are ready. This next piece is written by a young American composer that uh, has taken the world by storm. He's known all around the globe for his choir music. He actually has an, an ensemble that people from around the globe audition for. It's called the Virtual Choir. And they each record their parts individually from around the world, and they submit them, and they mix them all together and give uh, concerts via the web. Uh, he has also written music for orchestras and obviously wind band, but normally his, his big uh, format is originally writing for choir, and you'll hear uh, choral aspects in this next piece. So I invite you to, to join me in just envisioning and, and remembering what we just experienced in the glorious fall around with all of our beautiful trees here in Missoula. This is Eric Whitaker's October. about the beauty of October, but sharing memories with a loved one that surround the warmness of fall.
So I have to just tell you that about, I don't know, what is today? It's Thursday. Okay, so about a week and a half ago, my, my sister's husband passed away. Uh, you know, dear friend, like a brother to me. And we were rehearsing this piece when I got the call. And, you know, I think that will probably always be embedded in my memory uh, and associated with this piece. But I mention this because I've been gone for a week. And these guys worked this piece and the, the previous piece up pretty much on their own in sectionals and then worked with a sub trying to get things together. And then I came back in the last three days. Aren't they amazing? So I do, I, I still say this every day. I am such a lucky guy. Because I work with the best people on the planet. You know that? And uh, it's, it is a very joyous occasion to come to work. I'm not sick all that often. <laughs> <laughs> I just look sick. That's, that's normal, though. <laughs> hey, uh, listen, did you enjoy the oboe solo at the beginning? Right on, so Washington Middle School student last year sitting right here and now he's up here. That, that's a freshman. <laughs> and also Eleanor service back on the euphonium solo in the middle. Isn't that beautiful? Are you guys ready? You're in for a treat. This is the way this piece should be done. It's the first time we've ever done this piece in a mass band. These guys are going to get set in their places, and then we are loading the stage from the back to the front. Okay? Just like we did today. So here we go. Trombones and phone. Barry Sacks. Come on up, please, along with the Sims. So I'm going to just read so you kind of know where this piece came from and uh, some of the history behind the piece. Uh, Buffalo Jump Ritual was written for the Montana All-State Band. Daniel Buckpitch was commissioned to write a piece playable by and accessible to most modern uh, Montana school bands with a Montana theme. The title is derived from the ancient American Indian practice of driving herds of buffalo over a cliff when hunting, when hunting for large quantities of meat. After weeks spent locating and herding the buffalo prior to initiating the stampede that would lead them over the cliff, a ritual was performed in which the tribal elders or medicine men would hit rocks together and chant softly. Refer to these as heart rocks. The uh, two main buffalo jumps in the state of Montana, one is near Bozeman, it's the Madison Buffalo Jump, and the other one is just south of Great Falls in Ulm, Montana. And um, this piece also touches on just the reverence for um, the life that the buffalo brought to the, the people. Um, from uh, John Langdeer Sue, quote about the buffalo, uh, the buffalo is a part of us. His flesh and blood being absorbed by us until it became our own flesh and blood. Our clothing, our teepees, everything we needed for life came from the buffalo's body. It was hard to say where the animal ended and the man began. This piece of music is not only a tribute to their way of life, but also uh, just a reenactment of an actual buffalo jump. So I hope you'll join us with Daniel Buckwich's Buffalo Jump. I forgot to mention that Daniel Buckvich is actually from Butte. He's a Montana composer and works and is a professor at the University of Idaho.
Thank you all for spending your evening with us. Thank you and have a great night. Good night.